Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here again, and uh, today I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a quick dry and wet control for any device in Ableton that doesn't already have a dry and wet control. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a MIDI clip on this MIDI channel, and I'll just do that by highlighting a section and pressing Command Shift M, and then I'll press Command L directly after that to loop that MIDI clip. Then the next thing I'll do is drop an analog in, and I'll uh, create a quick uh, sine wave. Uh, sine waves are my favorite thing to redux. They seem to sound the best to me, so I'll just create a really low sine wave. Actually, I'll make it a bit higher than that. For those who might be watching on laptop speakers, you might not be able to hear that. So I'll make it, I don't know, maybe a C2. So there's our sine wave. Um, and the next thing I'll do is chuck a redux in here. So we have a redux sine wave, but we have no dry wet control over that redux. So a few things we could do, we could chuck it in a send and uh, and we could just send the signal to that a little bit. But my personal favorite way to do it is to create a chain for it. So uh, sorry, an audio effect rack. So I'll do that by clicking on the device and pressing command G for group. And that just puts it into an audio effect rack for us. And then I'll click on this chain here. I'll create another one by pressing command D or control D on Windows. And then I'll delete the Redux from one of them. So we've got one with a Redux and one without a Redux. So I'll name the one with the Redux, Redux, and I'll name the one without the Redux, Dry. And now if we go to our, map, uh, our macro modes, uh, sorry, our macro controls, and then we click on map mode, we can map the volumes both to one, um, one macro control. But what we want to do up here in this macro mapping section is we want the Redux to go from 0 dB to minus infinity dB, and then the Dry to go from minus infinity to 0 and then we can just unclick that mapping mode and then if we look here um, on these volumes over here just down here if we are at 0 dB we have um oh I've actually done it the wrong way around I'll just go and fix that I'll just go to my mappings mode and I'll make the redux minus infinity to 0 and the dry wet from 0 to infinity minus infinity sorry so now we can rename this macro control, we're just clicking on it and pressing command R and then just name it dry forward slash wet. <clears throat> and then if we look here, when we have it set at zero, we have a completely dry signal and no redux at all. And as we start turning it up, the dry signal turns down as the redux signal turns up. So by the time we get to 127 on the macro control that we've mapped, uh, we have 100% redux and no dry signal. So effectively, you're just creating a dry and wet control for any effect in Ableton. Just do it the same way. Put one effect in uh, one slot, uh, in one chain, sorry, and no effects in the other one, and just map them the same way I just did there by making the minimum and maximum values minus infinity to zero. So now if we play that and start turning this up, you'll start to hear the redux come in. So yeah, it's just a cool little trick for making a dry and wet control for any device that you like. So yeah, um, hopefully you got something out of that. Go to mrbillstunes.com and get some free stuff if you like. And yeah, until next time, take it easy.